What's going on you guys? This is Joey from PA Fishing. Um, lately, uh, for over the past two years, I've been getting into fish keeping as a hobby and uh, the more and more I liked it, uh, the more I wanted more fish uh, and inverts and everything. Um, I started off as freshwater, uh, as you can see right here. I have my cichlid tank which is freshwater. I have African cichlids in there. I have a blue emperor cichlid, uh, a few convicts. <clears throat> Pretty cool stuff. Love the tank. Uh, it's on the floor right now because the stand that I had it sitting on broke and collapsed and luckily the fish are okay and it didn't break the glass or anything like that. I have to buy a new uh, aquarium filter and uh, stand for it because the filter died also. The uh, cartridge filter so I have to get a new one of those but anyway uh, I've been getting into salt water uh, I have four freshwater tanks uh, three in my room uh, two bass and uh, baby convict cichlids and a third one in my room uh, in the hallway I have my only saltwater tank which I'll show you in a second and uh, my cichlid tank right there which I may or not be turning may or may not be turning into a saltwater tank uh, and move the cichlids into my 20 gallon in my room uh, once one of my basses goes to their new owner. But anyways, uh, the reason I wanted to make this video today is uh, I got a new shipment in from Petco. Uh, I know how people are with Petco fish, you know, they're not treated right, everything else. Uh, I haven't really had any bad experiences with them. Um, never any sick uh, fish, no dead on arrivals, nothing like that. Um, this time I will show you uh, what I got and we will unbox it together. So let's do that. All right, so here we are. Uh, we got the box here. Just zoom in right. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to get my knife and we're going to open it up. Don't have time to get my pocket knife because uh, I want to take these guys out and acclimate them as soon as possible. So we're just going to use a regular old steak knife. Hopefully this is not the first time we get a dead on arrival. Hope, hopefully everybody's okay in here. I ordered one fish and two inverts. I will show you what they are in a minute. We will do the fish last because always save the best for last. Okay, I'm gonna blur out my address and stuff. I don't want people coming and uh, murdering me. So there's the bill of sale there. And we got the, the styrofoam box that they are sitting in. Let's open this up. All right, packing peanuts, just what we wanted to see. All right. Got a bunch of those. I'm gonna filter through them and uh, find the bags. Okay, so heater, I guess to keep them warm. What is this? Aha, all right. All right, so this is the first thing we're going to, oh, you fell down, all right. This is a turbo snail. I don't know if you guys can see them in there. I will do a close up. There he is, sticking his head out there. You can see him. He was on the top of the bag here and then he fell when I took him out. <laughs> I hope he's okay, I'm sure he's okay. We're gonna put him right there. Go through the second one here. Now, who is this? Oh, we're gonna save him for last. That's the fish. All right. Who's next? There he is. Oh wow. We only ordered. I only ordered two of these guys these are red tip hermit crabs or no i ordered one 
and they gave me two. There's two in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's two red tip hermit crabs, so now I have three. That is awesome. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. I'm sure it is. Uh, thank you, Petco. I appreciate that. That is really cool. So we got two red tip hermit crabs and a Mexican turbo snail right there. And now for the finale, and it looks like he's doing okay. Uh, he's a little stressed out. I'm gonna pick the camera up for this one. There he is. A blue or three striped damselfish. Look how cool that guy is. Look at the, the colors on him, the black and white stripes. That's really cool. Uh, these guys are really aggressive, I heard. But hopefully, uh, when we put him in the tank and uh, acclimate him, hopefully he gets along with the other two fish. And I hope the other fish are uh, not aggressive towards him anyways. But yeah, that is pretty cool. He's a little stressed out right now. His colors aren't really coming out. Uh, but uh, we're going to go and acclimate these guys. There he is. There's a better picture of him. Such a cool looking fish. He was only $10.99, uh, $30 shipping, but um, hey, uh, look what we got for 15 bucks uh, before shipping. We got an extra crab too, which uh, like I said, wasn't intentional. Uh, I appreciate that. So we're gonna go and acclimate these guys and uh, get them in the tank. So this is my four gallon saltwater reef tank. Uh, I don't have any corals in yet, but I'm planning on getting some soon. I plan on getting an anemone, anemone <laughs> for my clownfish there. There's my Ocellaris clownfish, Nano. And then there is Scout, which is my blue devil damsel. And uh, there is two Asterina starfish in here. There's one right there. Uh, it's not zooming very good. There he is. There's another one in here as well, but I don't know where he went. He's somewhere around here. And I have another red tip permit crab in there as well. But anyways, that is it right there. Pretty cool. So we're going to get these guys in here. So right we got now. the damsel in there. Uh, he's acclimating right now. Uh, I'm gonna wait to put the inverts in there because the water level is so high because of the one bag that's in here and three, it would certainly overflow. So I'm definitely gonna wait until I put the damsel in the tank and then I'm gonna put the other inverts in there. So there we go. I will keep you guys updated. There's a better picture of him right there. Look at that little guy. All right, it's time to put the damsel in the tank. So let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, he's stuck. There we go. There he is, he's in. Check that guy out. All right, so the inverts are in now. We got the red tip permit crabs. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. Uh, he's somewhere in the tank. There's the damsel. Uh, and then there's the Mexican turbo snail already eating algae off of the glass. Awesome. The damsel's really, uh, he's really, um... So anyways, guys, I am back at my cichlid tank, as you can see in the living room. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing as much as I did. Uh, hopefully the damsel gets along with the others, the clown and the blue devil damsel. Uh, they seem to be picking at each other a little bit. Hopefully once, uh, they get used to him being in there, they start to get along. The clownfish is, uh, very civil. He's not even bothering the three-stripe. Uh, it's just the blue devil damsel because he's a new he's a new fish they're damsel fish damsel fish are known for being aggressive a little bit hopefully uh things uh ease up a little bit if not i'm gonna have to take one of them back or uh just get a new tank all together and put them in separate tanks so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it uh stay reefing